Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Shadows of the Doubt. A game I really like to play and um, I'm pretty sure you guys will also enjoy. It's a detective game, so it's pretty cool. So, I'll see you guys in the game. Let's roll that intro. When I wake up in this new city of yeah, I see if I have any money. Then I go up to this person and I ask, do you have any change? And he said no, which kind of sucked, you know. I got angry and I grabbed the garbage can and I tried to find him. He, he just disappeared, you know. I don't know where he went. It took me a minute to figure out where he was and I never found him. So I just dropped the garbage can. And I continued trying to find him but I couldn't find him. So then I gave up. I eventually just came to my senses and I went to go find a clipboard so I can find a job. The job I click picked, I mean, is humiliate. I go and call a number and I go and do what they ask me to do, you know. So that's exactly what I did. Seven, Here's about the job. The payphone at the principal's start will be exact eight of to answer it. So I headed there and um waited and picked up the phone. Exactly on time. We want the mind to shame the food in their face. Take a photo of them to prove it happened. Deliver it under the door. Tiger wings. Not the fun. And the briefcase was under the desk. So I pick it up and I have trouble to like look at it, you know? But I eventually do. I eventually do. But the only source of like things, you know, is a fingerprint, a location. So that's what I do. I look through and I try to figure out where the location is. Then I go to the location. The clo the location the target is at is Tiger Parks. The first thing I try to do is I try to fingerprint all the doors and all that, which took a very long time and didn't work in the end, but I did get some evidence from that. I got tired of scanning, so I went up to this person and asked if I could scan their finger and they told me no. So I got angry and I tried to find them with the garbage and I, I never did and I just made a big mess. So yeah. To the, uh, you know, little this and to see if there's any more information I can find. I did realize I lived on the eighth floor. So I went up there. They live. Not only they live. They're on the eighth floor. I then went around fingerprinting all the doors to look for fingerprint A, and I never found it.
I then saw this girl leaving her apartment, so I went up to her and asked, and she gave me absolutely nothing. Nothing. I kept on scanning until I found number A, or fingerprint A, I guess. It was on top of a little pillar, which I don't understand, to be honest. But this gave me no evidence, except I know they're on floor eight. I got sick and tired of scanning, as you can tell. So I had the brightest idea to, you know, stand and wait for the camera to not look at me. And then I pulled one of my favorite moves in the game that you can do is, I call it the little Budge. Yeah, I just straight up broke in. He saw, but he didn't know it was me. So then I went in, crouched, and this is how it played. So much happened, he fell, and then I knocked him out, and then I ran in, shut the door, and I walked in, and this is why I see him. This dude is straight up in a bikini on his couch, not even sleeping in the right way. So I just began searching and I'll tell you guys, these were not the right people. These were not. I then started fingerprinting all, all of this apartment and none of them matched. Fingerprint A. So, wrong apartment. I then go next door and I do my favorite thing, the budge, and I break it. Yep, my favorite thing. I wait for the camera, you know, always have to wait and then do the finishing top finisher. Boom. No one was home. Now, it's not the right apartment either, so I'm just gonna skip because it was just me waiting for the camera. I do go in the hall and give up. I go and fingerprint that, but then I go to this one. Now this one, this is the lucky winner. Now, I knock on this door and I keep on looking back to make sure no one is looking and making sure the camera doesn't look because I'm planning on knocking this guy out. So, that's exactly what I do. I keep on waiting. He opens the door, I close it, and boom! Knockout. So I just barely searched him, but now I'm going around and fingerprinting everything to make sure. And I'll tell you, there is fingerprint A. So the evidence is here. This is their apartment, but. Now, I think this guy is our victim that we are going for, but I'll tell you one thing now, guys. He is not. I do go around trying to figure out this guy's name, getting every, any evidence of this guy, so I'm gonna put it in the clipboard, but it's in vain. I also do something I really like about this game. I steal, you know, I steal all their money and all that, you know. Mmm, rich, rich me, you know. Yeah.
Now, I'm, I did find his name, and I'm for sure this is our victim. But, as you saw, I was trying to throw meat and food in their face, but it wouldn't work. It wouldn't check off. So, that saved me. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you, game. I just threw the food at him, and of course he got angry. But then two people got angry at me, and I tried ca capturing it on camera, because you're supposed to, and it wouldn't work. So thank you, game. I do knock him out again, and that guy fell like a, a retard. Like, I don't know how you slip or nothing, but I take a picture and it doesn't work. Nothing works until this guy comes up out of nowhere. Proceed to start boxing this guy, right? To the dead, like, knock him out. I start to box him. And I just thought this guy was in the way. I was getting a little angry because this thing wasn't working. So, I start boxing this guy. And I pick up bottles and all that, and I try throwing them, and I miss. Like, this was, I think I'm the killer. You're supposed to find killers, and I think I'm the killer. Because I just broke in here, and I just harassed, I'm guessing, his boyfriend. And now I'm throwing bottles at him and boxing him, so <laughs> I can understand how he wants to beat me up. This Reeves Tard proceeds to fall down, right? And did you see, it said, call this number because it was the person. So I pretend, I knock him out, I finally do, right? And I search him, check an ID, and I go around and I ask people who they are, I get a name, then I fill out the clipboard and then I call the number. Grandma gave me her neighbor's name, which uh, I honestly cannot see the name from editing point of view, but you guys can see it. So I, I do that right, and I change it and all that, and now I'm going to payphone. So I'll see you guys at the payphone. So I call the number and um, tell them how we did and we got two checkpoints and we solved it. Now I'm just going to enjoy it and graduate myself on this very easy but hard um, case. So yeah.
Well, that's it, guys. That is Shadows of the Evil. On that's that's a cult video. Man. Shadows of the Doubt, um, episode one. This is the Humiliate episode. Make sure you like that button, subscribe. And I love all you guys. Not a gateway. Unless you, uh, okay, never mind. My bad. Let's roll that outro.